Hey guys, welcome back to our channel CISA Academy. This is a lecture on consistency limits on the topic flow index. Let's get started. Consistency limits. These are for fine grain soils. So, according to Otterberg, these limits are divided in four stages liquid state, plastic state, semi solid state, and solid state. They are like this. Okay. this is liquid limit this is plastic limit and this is shrinkage limit okay so this side this is volume on y axis it is volume and on x axis it is water content so this is liquid state plastic state this is semi solid and solid state so according to Utterberg the limits are divided in four stages they are liquid state liquid state plastic state semi solid state and solid states Atterberg limits are the water content at which soil mass passes from one state to another state. So in this our first limit is liquid limit. So what is liquid limit? Liquid limit is the minimum water content at which part of soil cut by a groove of standard dimensions will flow together for a diameter uh, distance of 11 mm width at top 2 mm width at bottom and 8 mm at deep at the rate of 25 blows with the drop of the cup on hot rubber base is 1 cm so the drop is 1 cm and the distance bet between groove on top is 11 mm on bottom it is 2 mm with a depth of 8 mm so if we apply a, a blow it will drop by 1 centimeter height okay So it is the minimum water content at which the soil is in still liquid state but small shearing strength against flowing against flowing that is in this liquid limit state the shear strength is 2.7 kN per meter square or 27 gram per centimeter square. This whole test will be conducted on Casagrande's apparatus so after this test a graph is plotted between number of blows n on logarithmic scale and water content w on natural scale it will be seen that semi logarithmic plot is a straight line is called the flow curve okay so that is like this so in this side this is natural scale on on y axis this is water content on this side this is logarithmic scale number of blows number of blows W1, W2, log N1, log N2. So the curve is straight. This is called flow curve. Okay. 
flow curve gives an idea of shear strength variation with water content of the soil okay so the slope of flow curve is called if flow index flow index if equal to so what is flow index w1 minus w2 by log n2 minus log n1 okay that equal to w1 minus w2 by log n2 by n1 okay this is if okay so this is if so if equal to w1 minus w2 by log n2 by n1 okay so what is if if is slope of flow curve so if is called flow index okay flow index is a slope of flow curve after that empirical relation which enables the determination of liquid limit from only one observation so we can find liquid limit from single observation that is wl equal to wn natural water content multiplied by n by 25 whole to the power of e where e equal to 0 0.10 and n is in between 15 to 35 blows therefore our final result will be wl equal to w n w suffix n multiplied by n by 25 whole to the power of 0 0.1 so this formula from one observation only okay so that equal w l equal to w suffix n multiplied by n by 25 whole to the power of 0 0.1 okay so let's solve some numericals so our first question is the liquid limit ll plastic limit pl and shrinkage limit sl of a cohesive soil can satisfy which of the relation so from Atterberg limits we have graph like this so this is liquid limit this is plastic limit and this is shrinkage limit therefore liquid limit is greater than plastic limit plastic limit is greater than <coughs> a shrinkage limit so our answer is b next question the following data were obtained from a liquid limit test conducted on a soil sample. So he given that number of blows 17, 22, 25, 28, 34 with respect to water content in percentage. So the liquid limit of the soil. So he want liquid limit. So from the definition of the liquid limit, li what is liquid limit? Liquid limit is the water content corresponding to 25 blows so the answer is 61.9 so our answer is 61.9 c is the answer next question consistency of a cohesive soil is depends on which of the parameter so basically the major factor consider in consistency is moisture content moisture content will change the consistency of a cohesive soil okay next 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द नंबर ऑफ रेवल्यूशन इन लिक्विड लिमिट टेस्ट एट फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव वाट आर कंटेंट आर फोर्टी ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी रेस्पेक्टली वॉट इज द लिक्विड लिमिट ऑफ द सॉइल सो अगेन लिक्विड लिमिट वॉट इज लिक्विड लिमिट लिक्विड लिमिट इज द वॉटर कंटेंट विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ब्लोज ऑन कैसा ग्रैंड एपरेटस सो आंसर इज ट्वेंटी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन ए लिक्विड लिमिट टेस्ट द नंबर ऑफ रेवल्यूशन आर फोर्टी एट फिफ्टीन पर्सेंट वाटर कंटेंट ट्वेंटी एट थर्टी पर्सेंट वाटर कंटेंट फाइंड द फ्लो इंडेक्स ऑफ द सॉइल ओके सो वॉट इज फ्लो इंडेक्स फ्लो इंडेक्स आई एफ इक्वल टू स्लोप ऑफ फ्लो कर ओके सो हाउ विल बी द फ्लो कर सो फ्लो कर इन दिस ग्राफ so this is this axis is arithmetic in which it has water content in this side number of blows this is a log graph okay so at 40% sorry at 15% water content number of blows are 40 so log 40 okay at 15% okay at 30% water content number of blows are 20 so log 20 so this is 30 so flow curve will be like this sorry this is a straight line so the slope of this line is slope slope of flow curve is if what is if flow index therefore flow index equal to 30 minus 15 by log 40 minus log 20 that equal to 49.832 so a is the answer thank you guys for watching this video please like and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe thank you